Terry. Talk to me, Dan. It's good to be back here on Zero Tackle. Uh, five talking points. It was hard to find five. We'll bring down from five because rugby league is back. Five minutes on the clock. Let's go. The trials, the preseason tournament, Dan. 100K was on the line. Some teams took it seriously, some teams didn't. What are your thoughts about it? I loved it. It was very entertaining, but no one took it seriously. Yeah. Manly had the towed up. They needed three offloads in 10 minutes and didn't play any differently. Cronulla needed seven offloads in 25 minutes. Didn't throw one. After the game, they threw to Dalfinukin and Sir Fitz, who said, we did, you know, yeah. we, we caught on too late. They knew. They didn't care. We were focused, and so were Manly to their credit on what really matters, and that is performance and results. If you're going to give us 100K in the preseason, play two weeks of trials. Don't give us a gap in between. Bring the nines back. Cap it. You know, you can only send two of your top 20 players over there, and then you've got to send... Play to Parramatta yeah. Stadium. Fun. Send it to Perth. Who cares? Well, send it anywhere else. But give us the nines back. Put the 100 grand on the line for that. Make it worthwhile. Don't make it decided on line breaks and offloads. Just play nines football. Agreed. World Club Challenge, Dan. St. Helens rolled into Penrith mm. in front of a hostile crowd. Wasn't sold out. Very surprised. Mm. But they walk away with the trophy. Now, not only is the significance of this huge for St. Helens, but this solidifies them as the greatest ever Super League team. Four premierships in a row and beating arguably the NRL's best ever team. Yeah, and a team, that, a, a team that many, you and I think, are going to go and win their third NRL premiership in a row. Huge win. Huge win. The script was written. Penrith by like 40. Yep. Phil Gould said they should declare a declare half time. They used that. Everyone knew what was going to happen except St. Helens. They said, no, thank you. And congrats to their fans who packed half that hill, made lots of noise, made it a real entertaining game. What a game it was. We need to bring Wormsley, uh, Dodd, Wellsby and Lomax with Tommy Makinson to the NRL somehow get done Fitz. Uh, speaking of Fitz, mm -hmm. so Fitz has re-signed with the Cronulla Sharks for four years, Great. bringing some stability to the club. Now, people are always talking about the culture, everything that he's changed while he's been here. He's added additional years, and I think the club has looked at, while we have Fitz at the club, there is a premiership window, there is recruitment to be had, there is money to be spent, there are players coming off contract now, stability is key for this club moving forward, we're about to get the new stadium and everything around it, it's going to be huge for the club to try and turn to a powerhouse, step one. Love it, absolutely love it, there's nothing negative about this. The main thing it does, because Melbourne lose their coach very soon, a year or two, Bellamy's come out and said, I think number one on their list would have been Sir Fitz, and if not, he's certainly in the top three. That says to everyone, we've got our guy, come win a premiership at Cronulla, everyone else hands off, Nico Hines is the next piece to fall, then Teague Wilton, Cronulla looking very good going into the new year, and it's all because of Sir Fitz. Dan? The overreaction to trial games. Happens. You have been getting hammered, and I have enjoyed it. Happens every single year, but now I've got people in my Just comments. don't tweet stupid. Look, it's just it's part of who I am, Terry. Okay. I've got people coming out to say that Canberra are going to finish last because they got flogged by the Tigers in a trial game. I repeat, a trial game that in six weeks no one will remember. I guarantee you, if they play each other ten times in the regular season, Canberra win eight, at least, probably even nine. Congrats to the Tigers. Probably says a lot about where they've been. That one loss to them, albeit in a trial game, sees people overreact like this. But it's ridiculous. It's a trial game. Who cares? If you want to talk about an overreaction to trials, there was a certain journalist on Twitter last week that said that Cronulla and North Queensland had easy draws and they would fall out and the West Tigers would be a team that would jump them. And then today someone asked him a question about the Bulldogs and what they thought of their performance. And he said, well, they just got pants by a top four team. What is it? Which is it, mate? Tell us. Tell Stop us. Stop overreacting your trials. What is it? And finally, we don't like talking about it, but injuries happen in rugby league. There's been some injuries in the preseason, time, yes. in the games. Royce Hunt hurt himself at training. Uh, a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks we're hearing. Maybe round three he could be back. Pushing for round one, but they'll probably play it safe as they do. We've yeah, got enough depth be, yeah. there. Uh, Xavier Savage, we touched on it. He's got a broken jaw. Just Canberra missed him. They got no fullback. Yeah, especially with Nickel Clockstar going yeah. as well. So... Uh, you know, huge out for them. Tavita Pungai Jr. missed the trial game. He's got a calf injury. Looks like it's four to six weeks. Four to six weeks for him. Yeah. Kate Dykes ACL missed the season. Yeah. Big one. But Talon May 
Now, I've seen people turn around and say it was a dirty shot, it was a dirty tackle, it was third man in. He was still moving forward. Yeah. So the, the St. Helens player was right to get... Now, it wasn't below the knee, it wasn't dog shot. It was just the way that his body landed. And Penrith came out straight away and said, oh, we don't know what it's going to be. It didn't sound like a bad injury. ACL, poor bastard. It's horrible. It's really bad. You don't want to see anyone get hurt. Uh, that does rob them of a very, very good winger.